Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Sola Hypnotherapy. My name is Kirsten and I have another Trump related reading for you guys. This is for the week of March 11th through the 18th, but I think this is one of those deeper readings where um, not only did stuff come out, this, this stuff coming out about this week, but I also feel like messages, like darker messages and, and warning messages and um, uplifting messages and future messages down the road are coming out in this reading so um i'm not sure i'll title it a week but uh, yeah, I, this is probably when i'll do like an update um i don't know like an update on what what's going on around trump's presidency just from from i guess the universe update from the universe i guess that might be a little haughty for me to say that but for me, I mean, that's what I feel like this kind of is. All right. So that being said, before we get started, could you please hit the like button, guys? Could you please support the channel and um, hit that like button? Subscribe if you haven't already. Encourage your like-minded friends to subscribe. Share me on your Facebook, your Instagram, your Twitter, and help spread and grow, uh, grow news about my channel visibility to my channel. I'd really appreciate your help. Anyone who's supporting the channel financially through donation or through joining me on Patreon, I love you. Thank you so much. You do keep the channel going. You do keep it alive. And it is much appreciated. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. So now, um, oh, and if you'd like to book a, um, a, a, uh, I'm, I'm just offering in terms of tarot or oracle readings, um, I'm offering just small readings. Um, you you can email me, and my information is in the description box. I'm offering just small uh, yes or no question readings, um, because uh, I read so in such a time consuming way that um, in order to for it to be feasible for me, I kind of have to restrict the amount of time that I can put into a reading. So I'm restricting my read my um, my tarot and oracle readings to yes or no readings um, and one advice card about why you got that yes or why you got that no. And so if you want um, details about that, then um, email me. That my information will be in the description box. And you can always uh, make an appointment for, with me uh, for Reiki or for hypnotherapy. We can do it in person or we can do it remotely. So make sure to uh, contact me if you want to uh, utilize those, those services that I have. All right, thanks, guys. So let's begin. Now, this is a real deep reading. This is a real kind of strange reading. I'm very uncomfortable with this reading, okay? Um, I'm not crazy. At least I don't think I am. Um, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, although I've read those books. I just made a decision in my life. I couldn't go down that road a long time ago. But this reading is infested with conspiracy theories, right? So I'm inclined to give you messages along those lines. That being said, let's begin. This is going to be organically Trump's column. He has the Ten of Wands reversed. Just letting you see it upright. I'm using the Anake Tarot. Uh, La Vera Sibylla today. These are my key cards. They are clarified by the Anake Tarot. And they're, uh, the uh, Tarot is clarified by the um, Sibylla and Divina. Okay? Why? Because I can. Um, so Trump's got the Ten of Wands reversed, this Devil card, and the Eight of Swords reversed. Uh, um, also, another card fell out, um, and the Nine of Pentacles, so I'll read these two combined. Now, the way I read for newcomers, I read in um, layers. So even though this is Trump's column, other people will be coming out in the reading. It goes in and out into different stories, different layers. I try my best. That's why I type my readings up before I read, before I, I record them to you, right? But I still go into new meanings as I read, right? So I have to do that in order to try to keep it organized. Um, that's where the energy is drained for me. That's where I get tired, right? And and that's that's the uniqueness of my reading, okay? It has layers. So follow along as best you can. I am doing my best to convey it to you in an ordered fashion, 
Let's begin. Ten of Wands reversed. Dilaranti. Okay. First, let's, let's just look at the picture of the Ten of Wands reversed. Now, I'm holding it upright because I want to show you that this guy is really overwhelmed. He's frightened. He's stressed. He's overloaded. This 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 burden is on him. There's a lot of pressure. Okay? To either do something, say something. To do some work or job. It's a heavy burden, right? But this card is released is reverse. So there's some sort of a release of a burden, a release of pressure. There could also be a, a, a laying on of blame, of, of a delegating responsibilities to another, so not taking responsibility or laying blame on another, and not taking accountability for one's actions. This card is, is clarifying the Dilaranti. Dilaranti can represent a party or a group of people. So here it could be Trump, it could be Trump's party, his allies, his supporters, his friends, his family. It can also represent, in general, rallies, protests, large gatherings of people, um, like a rally. And in this card today, I'm really, I mean, I'm really drawn to the gazed look on the figures in the card. It's almost as if Trump is rousing up his base, and they are following him around like this hypnotized cult, cult leader, who's hypnotizing them. So, um, and the reason why I get that vibe is because it's next so close to the devil card, which is a seduce card. It's also a prison card, which is next to another prison card that you probably can't see. It actually is next to two prison cards. Wow. <laughs> Somebody going to prison. Three prison cards. Anyway, um, let me just tell you what I see, all right? I feel like his supporters, his party, his friends, they're just following him around. Um, and this is also Trump following Putin around. Um, and I feel like we're also talking about Fox Network. These people are just following these rulers around, these seducers around, these liars, deceivers around, with a dazed look on their face. They're addicted to it like some kind of drug. And no matter how many lies, no matter how many, how much proof, no matter how much evidence, no matter how much uh, act, 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 scandals, no matter how many scandals, no matter how much corruption is coming out of, of these energies, Putin, Trump, Fox. <laughs> And those involved, also getting Kim Jong-un here, no matter how much comes out, there just doesn't seem to be enough to sway and release them from this addiction, this unhealthy, toxic relationship. Trump, from his toxic relationships or the people from their toxic relationships, to either Trump, Putin, or Fox. Okay, you see how many layers that had? All right. Try to get in my head. This is crazy. Okay. Um. Ooh, blah, 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 blah. They're following, following this energy around like it's a fierce addiction, like it's a fierce drug. Addicted to Trump, addicted to Fox. Addicted to hate, addicted to fear, like a drug. And like I said, no matter how much of it gets exposed, it's not enough. Five of five of pentacles, it's not enough to make them shut it out. It's not enough. They can't shut it out. They can't beat that crap. We can't sway him away from this dark entity, this holy master, this evil mind, the ruler, the devil, and the emperor reverse. Guys, I mean, any of you guys who know tarot, 
Think about that energy, the devil and the emperor reverse. I mean, this is a bloody tyrant here. For some, this is the old AC. But, you know, Just feel that energy. That's ugly. You didn't want to go there. And we can't sway them away from this energy. We can't sway them away from this dark entity that has this power and this control over them. This American idol of theirs, which was uh, on Fox, right? This master and ruler. Putin or Trump. And this master or ruler is able to manipulate the masses, to instill a mindset, to impress it upon their subconscious mind, the deepest, darkest recesses. They call upon their fears and release their fears. And as they release their fears, they overload them with fears and they put more fears in them. And that's how they're doing it. And I can tell you as a hypnotherapist that that is exactly this is used for dark means. Hypnotherapy is very, very positive. But there are dark forms of everything, right? Everything can be abused. And this is a dark hypnotism here. This is a dark NLP. Um, this, is, this is dark persuasion going on. And mind control. Did I tell you this was going to be conspiracy theory driven reading? Okay, I'm just reading the cards. I'm just the messenger. So, what they, just as I was just giving you a little history, okay, the first thing we learn at hypnotism school is, you know, we gotta get you an overload. That's what this is. Ten of Wands, we put, put, put you in anxiety. We do it in a loving way. We get you in some overload because when you're in overload, you're you're open, you're open, you're suggestible, and then we can, you know, of course we've talked to you and we've discovered what a what what good 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 replacement thoughts you want to have instilled in your subconscious, and we place those in when when we get you into trance. But here they're placing in more fears. They're doing things to trigger and release. Your greatest fears. That's what I'm seeing in these cards. Putin, Trump, Fox, Murdoch, Hannity, um, um, what do I want to say? Um, I'm seeing a lot of stone here and also, what's his name? Um, what's his name? It'll come to me. Oh. So that's what's going on. And there's a triggering of psychological and physiological responses in our American culture. Um, not only in the, uh, not only their supporters, but also in everyone, right? It's like, worldwide like a worldwide master plan and there's like a spread of this around the world so you can't tell me that's not happening right and they have arms and I think they have powers right and I think Fox is an arm the American arm to perpetuate this plan All right, guys, I'm going to end this reading here. If you want to know more um, about this reading, you can um, join me on Patreon. Um, I feel like I should probably be quiet now. All right. Thanks, guys.